Hey, hey, everybody. It's Friday. It is a different kind of Facebook Friday today. It's my 12 days of Christmas series. Been doing a little, doing things a little bit differently here in December. Let's see if I can find you guys. I hope you've had a good week. We are in the throes of the busy time of the year. That is for sure. Let me just see. Hello, hello. Thank you, Debbie, I appreciate that. All right, I think we're in the right place. Camera keeps focusing when I put my arm across there. So how's it going, guys? How are you? I, uh, it's been an extremely busy week here. We've had something every single night that we've had to go to. And you know, I'm a homebody. I like to be at home in the evenings. I like to get in bed early and read and I don't know. I don't like going all over the place. All right. Well, it looks like you guys are hopping on. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is day nine. Did I put day nine? What did, what did I put? Today's day eight of um, my 12 days of Christmas. And I changed the schedule a little bit. I knew I wanted to do something today when I was live um, that would have three projects. And this St. Nicholas bundle is fantastic. I, I will admit, I was like, mm, that's not really my style. I don't know, that's mm. But then when I started playing with it, it is a fabulous bundle. I would never have thought that I could um, get so excited about it, but I do, I love it. These dies are amazing. Um, so we're gonna use almost all of those dies today. So I've switched things around. We'll do So Very Merry on Monday, Tuesday, Jolly Words, 11 Wishes All Around, and 12, I don't know, Thursday, Horse and Sleigh. I'm still up in the air on what I'm gonna do on day 12. Um, I've used Horse and Sleigh a couple of times, and I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. We'll see what we decide. So next week I'll be live on Thursday instead of Friday. That will end the 12 Days of Christmas uh, series, and that'll be it for the month. I won't be live again until after the new year. All right, my college daughter comes home Thursday, my kids are out Friday, so then I'm gonna try to take some time off too. Okay, so today is St. Nicholas. Let's go, let's talk about a few other things before we get started stamping. Um, I wanna remind you that the holiday catalog, the, I can never think of the right, the real name, that's why I call it the holiday catalog. It's the September to December 2023 mini catalog. It is retiring at the end of, well, like January 3rd, I believe. And uh, so all the things that are retiring and not coming back are on the last chance list. Um, and a lot of them are on sale. Um, some of them have already sold out. So I will uh, link this again today when I'm done up in the description of the video for you. So you can go through your catalog page by page, make sure that you have gotten everything on your list before it's gone. Um, there's also a carryover list. And the carryover list means that these things in the mini catalog aren't necessarily, well, they're not retiring. They're either in the next catalog or the annual catalog or online exclusive. So there's some things on there um, like the Modern Oval Punch, um, the Blooming Pearls. So there are things that are carrying over. Okay, so just make sure you check that out. You don't wanna miss out on those things. Um, okay, I do want to mention too, along with that comes the new catalog, January to April 2024, and it goes live January 4th. Um, if you buy the starter kit in December, you can actually pick things from the mini catalog, which is fun. So just know if you've been thinking about the starter kit, if Santa wants to buy you the starter kit <laughs> um, this month, you can choose things from the upcoming spring mini catalog. And so January 4th also begins celebration. That's our January and February where you get something free with every $50 you spend. So that's that catalog. If you've shopped with me in the last year and spent, if, you, if, your order, if you've ordered more than $50, that was my threshold, that I send you a free catalog. Everybody, and if you're not a demonstrator, if I know you're not a demonstrator, or if I know you're a demonstrator, I say, I'm not gonna send you one because you already got one. Um, <laughs> but 
everybody who's a customer who's ordered from me over $50 last year, you'll be getting one. They come media mail. And let me tell you guys right now, mail is crazy slow. Things are taking way, way, way longer than they should. I ordered some prints of some family photos we had made and it's been like 10 days. The tracking was last updated on the 5th. You know, like it's just crazy. So just be patient. They're coming. If you've ordered with me, rest assured, I have ordered you one and it's coming. So be patient, okay? Um, towards the end of December, I will start sharing projects I have from uh, these ca these catalogs with some sneak peeks for you. Um, okay, the All-Star Video Class Bundle this month. This is the last month in our six-month subscription. We'll have a brand new subscription period that begins in January. Um, when you subscribe... Um, you pay for five months and get the six month for free. That's for those of you that don't shop with me. If you shop with me, you're gonna get it for free. I send it to everybody who spends more than $50 with me um, in the month, the free PDF. Um, it This month's is the Garden Walk, which coincidentally is the Club Create kits I'm sending out this month, so don't get them confused, they're different. Um, this has 12 video tutorials in it, all by different Stampin' Up! demonstrators around the world. Mine is just one project in here and it's these little mini milk cartons. Um, so if you're interested in that, I'll link that today as well in the description, but there is also um, a link at the bottom of today's blog post. Have you guys checked today's blog post to see if it's up? Hi, Nicole. Um, oh, Kathy is in Minnesota, feels like 35. Kathy, it's spring here again. It's like 78 and disgusting. I'm a little bit jealous. Usually I'm not jealous of 35, but I'm a little bit jealous today. Uh, you know, my Christmas shirts are not for spring weather. I'm jealous. All right, so that is that. Um, the calendar class, you guys, I've heard from many of you about this class. I've actually started cutting for this class because it is a big job. Um, 12 calendar pages and um, they can sit on your desk like this and this little um, stand and you can add the stand on or you can use a magnet to put on your refrigerator or your filing cabinet. You can use a little easel that you get at the craft store, whatever you want, but that's what they're designed for to be like that. Um, they all use the Days to Remember stamp set. Six of them use the Fluffiest Friends bundle. And then the, the others use a mixture of some other cute critter stamp sets. Um, the calendar class will ship towards the end of the month. It's not for Christmas. Um, it'll be, it'll arrive to you after Christmas. It's for once you're done, you put all your Christmas decorations away, you can start crafting on this. Um, you're gonna get two packs of paper, a bolt of ribbon, a bolt of linen thread, 12 calendar pages, and the full step-by-step -step color photo PDF. And there's a little video at the beginning. Not a video for all 12 pages. It's a video on how to use this calendar, this calendar stamp set. It's amazing. Um, so I believe Friday the 15th, did I write? oh yeah, the 15th, which is next Friday, is the cutoff um, to order the class kit. Uh, $67 for the kit, $30 for my team, and the PDF is always available, and it does include that little video in it, and it's already in my PDF store for $20. Um, when you buy my PDFs, guys, they come straight from an automated service that as soon as you pay, it emails it to you. About 10% of them either go to spam or get blocked. Um, so if that ever happens to you, please reach out to me, and I'll have it resent. It's not me not sending it to you. It's just, you know, the World Wide Web being as it does, doing as it does, um, and not getting things through. So anyway, if that if that's what you want, that's available for you. But the class to go um, link to register for this class, you have to email me for that. Um, if you get my e emails that I send about weekly, it's always in that email as well. All right, how about Club Create, you guys? I am so excited about January's Club Create kit. January's Club Create, um, subscription period has opened today. So if you want January's Club Create kit, you can now subscribe. If you're already a Club Create subscriber, don't worry, you're already good to go. Um, January's kit features the hot air balloon bundle and this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous 
up in the air designer series paper. I mean, I don't think I'll ever get tired of this paper. I love it so much. So um, Club Create is a monthly subscription uh, kit that I create. It is $45 a month. It includes usually around $20, $25 in product, um, like a full pack of paper, full bolt of ribbon, five project kits, a full video of all five projects, and a full PDF of all five projects. And if you stay um, for six months, you get a $25 reward, um, which means I email you and say, what do you want? What can I order you this month for $25? I had 47 people this month claim their uh, $25 reward. So um, I do I do what I promise. You're going to get that $25 reward if you stick around for six months, consecutively six months. Um, the, the link to subscribe to this is already up on my blog. Um, it's at the bottom of today's blog post. Also, um, there's a tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create, and uh, you can click that too. And that, if you just want the PDF, that is also available as well. The PDF does include that video. This month's video was like 37 minutes. It's pretty long. Okay, did I cover it all? I think that's it. That's all I wanted. Oh, no, no, I gotta tell you about prizes. I have a stack of prizes. Nicole, I'm glad you're here. You're on the top. Um, every day during my 12 days of Christmas, I'm giving away either a stamp set or a bundle and every blog post down towards the bottom, there's a little paragraph that says, click here to enter for today's prize. And I ask you for your name, your email address, and your mailing address. I'm not going to send you anything unless you're the winner and I'm going to send you a prize. Other than that, I trash all of it. It goes. So don't worry about that. Um, but I do every day ask you a different question like, um, do you, what's your favorite Christmas cookie? What's your favorite Christmas movie? Do you prefer gift wrap over gift bags? Um, so every day is just a little fun Christmas question and you can enter every single day. And then I do the random order, random number generator online and I pick somebody every day. So here are all five of our winners over the last five days. So day three was Nicole Flournoy. She's on my team. Congratulations, Nicole. I saw that you were here. Um, day four was number 120, Andrea DeHart. Andrea, you're getting St. Nicholas. This is what we're using today, this bundle. Um, it's a good one. And Heather Howard, day five. Now, Heather, I'm sending you a non-Christmas uh, bundle. I hope that's okay. Um, I have this one, and I wanted to give it away as a prize. I haven't even used it, and I love it so much. I can't wait to use it. So, Heather, I'm going to send you the Simply Sparkling bundle. Um, day six was Nancy Coles, number 115. Nancy, Forever Forest, we did two projects with this um, earlier in the week. I think it was Monday, so I'm going to send you that one. And then I got another Marius Trees. I really love Marius Trees a lot. Isn't it carrying over, you guys? I believe it's not retiring. Um, and this is going to Phyllis Werner. And luckily, I have all your mailing addresses because you all filled out the form, so I will get these out early next week. Congratulations, everybody. Thanks for playing along. This is kind of my gift to you guys at Christmas, just to give away lots of prizes and do lots of fun stamping um, to get you ready for Christmas. Okay. Thank you, Carol. I thought it was carrying over. It's a good one, right? Okay. Let's get started. So I have to admit to you guys, this, this bundle was not on my list right away. I thought, nah, that's not really my style, right? Um, it is a black line image, but it has a lot of details. Kind of, I thought, oh, that's kind of hard to color. But then I got it because I saw some beautiful samples. And then that St. Nicholas, um, Traditions of St. Nicholas designer series paper, which I should have pulled out to show you. Let me just grab it because I have it. Uh-oh, hold on, hold on. I have it right here. Let me get it. This paper was one of the online exclusives that they brought out in September. And it co totally coordinates with this bundle which I think is brilliant. And it has not sold out yet, which I am surprised. I have actually used it a ton um, other than, you know, not with this, this bundle. We've used it for some of the fall projects, um, but it's really, really pretty. Just these uh, patterns on the back are gorgeous. Um, we're gonna use this print today and we've used this one in the past. We're gonna use this one right here. Um, this one actually, I didn't even realize it. Look, you can see right here. It has stamped images that match that with the die that cut them out, which I thought, okay, very smart. I love it. Um, then we used um, this in the fall for some of my pumpkin projects. This one I love, it's like a twall kind of, is that what you would call that, a twall 
wallpaper. It's like an old-fashioned Christmas. Um, and then we used the green um, when we made our little Harry Potter Christmas projects. I know I've used this one. I can't remember what for what we used it for. Um, the watercolored um, stockings are beautiful. More of that green. And it's just, it's great. So if you are going to order again and you haven't done it yet, I would recommend the St. Nicholas bundle. You guys, I didn't even look. Let's look. St. Nicholas. I didn't even look. And I, shame on me for not looking. It's going to, it's retiring. I know that. So what does that mean? Is it on sale? No. Oh, wait a minute. The dyes are on sale a little bit. So it's a little bit on sale. If you buy the bundle, you're already saving 10%. So I think maybe the bundle price is probably still the better choice. But it's a good one. I think it's um, it's different. And if you like old-fashioned kind of things, I think this is a good one. All right, well, let's get started. The first project, we're going to do some coloring, okay? Um, the dies in this set that have the chimney, the chimney and the fireplace are really fun. We're gonna use them on two different projects. Um, when I looked at this guy, I was like, ooh, that's a lot of detail. I don't know how to color that. But then when I started coloring and I was like, hey, why was I nervous about this? This is really not hard. Um, we're going to watercolor it because I feel like since it's an old fashioned kind of image, we should use watercolor and it really, it worked out beautifully. So I've got a piece of watercolor paper on here and I'm using my Stamparatus because I wanted to make sure that my image was nice and dark. All right, and when you use your Stamparatus, you can stamp it a couple of times in the same spot. So I'm gonna use Stays On. Stays On is the ink you wanna use when you um, are watercoloring. See how it's kind of light there in the beginning? I really needed it to be dark. And so maybe it's just a reflection of <laughs> my, my ink pad needing to be re-inked, but I found that if I put it on here and got it nice and bold, it made it a little bit easier to color as well because I can see what I'm doing. All right, now we are going to use, here are our colors. Cherry Cobbler, Pecan Pie, Mossy Meadow, Misty Moonlight, Petal Pink, Wild Wheat for the Little Drum. I have Basic Gray here and I can't remember. Oh, I think the bottom of his shoes. I think that's what I use Basic Gray for. I was typing at the supply list and I was like, why do I have Basic Gray? I can't remember if, I had it for a reason. So we're going to use our water painters. Do you guys use water painters? Hi, mom. Oh gosh, my mother's a professional watercolor artist and now she's gonna watch me do this. Mom, I apologize in advance <laughs> because it's probably not gonna be that good. Um, I'm gonna do the best I can. I think it looks pretty good. I think I did pretty good. Um, really guys, it's just coloring with a different you know, utensil, you different um, product. It's the same as you would um, with anything else. I'm gonna pull my chair over because I have to sit down when I color. So you can get ink on your, like to use with your water painters two different ways. I squeezed, I did like this. And then when you do that, you get the ink in the inside. But a lot of times people don't like that because it looks messy. Uh, you know, you guys know me, I don't care. So I, that's what I do. I squeeze it in there. Sometimes I use my clear block. So you can take your clear block and dab it on there. We're going to have this new thing during celebration, you guys, called, it's a glass mat. And it has a silicone mat with it. And it is going to be perfect for this kind of stuff. Um, it's going to be something you can get with your starter kit. And it is, um, I can't wait. I got mine already. And I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. I got mine already, but I haven't used it. I opened it and looked at it and I was like, oh, this is really nice. So just know, if you're thinking about buying the starter kit in January during celebration, there's a really fun um, addition to the starter kit that you can get. The glass mat, it has a silicone mat. I need to put my glasses on y'all. This is, this, this uh, getting old eyesight is a problem. Um, anyhow, I'm just going to use my skinniest water painter and I'm going to, I find this pretty relaxing, kind of, you know, 
Um, you can sit and watch a Christmas movie. We watched the new Eddie Murphy movie on Netflix last Friday. Have you guys seen it? Whoa, Candy Cane Lane. It's very cute. It has, um, oh, what's the woman's name? I love her. She's from that show Blackish. Um, oh, what is her name? Somebody tell me I forgot. I always want to call her Rainbow because that was her name on the show. Um, she's hilarious. Eddie Murphy's hilarious. Their kids are funny. The whole movie is good. Your kids can watch it. Um, it's really good. And uh, I recommend it. And then we turned on Violent Night. You know, it's a play on Silent Night. And we had to turn it off because it was terrible. My husband said, Erica, the name is Violent Night. What did you What did you expect? I'm like, I did not expect it to be like that. Ugh. It has Hopper in it from Stranger Things. So that's why I wanted to watch it. But no, thank you. I can't handle that kind of movie. Too much, too much. Tracy Ellis Ross. And her mother is Diana Ross. Yes, I'm like, oh, I can't remember. Couldn't remember either of their names. Tracy Ellis Ross. She's fabulous. Okay, so now I've done kind of like a, you know, full coat there, if you will. And I'm going to go back and add a little bit darker underneath his little his little man purse <laughs> his man bag here that he's got and uh he's got his glasses and his snacks in there probably and then i'm also going to add some here like at the base of his elbow and then over here kind of in the crook of his elbow and you'll see that the the ink just kind of spreads for you which is really nice and you want to use that real skinny tip. You, when you buy these water painters, you get you have the super skinny, and you have I forgot something. I got to do this right here too. You get the super skinny, which is what I'm using right now. And then there's a um, there's a like a medium skinny, and then there's a fat brush, which we'll, we're going to use. I think we're going to use all of them today. All right. So is there anything else red that I need to do? There's something in here. Oh, the present. This is kind of a hard image to see, but you'll you'll get it when you start coloring it. It starts to make sense. Okay, there we go. I know you guys probably can't see that real well. I'm trying to zoom in. All right, let's do Mossy Meadow next. <laughs> it's his satchel. Yeah, a satchel, but what is, I mean, isn't that his satchel right there? His because this looks like a purse to me, like he's carrying around some necessities, you know, like his his um, heartburn medicine, his glasses, <laughs> you know, things that he would need while he's at work. I don't know. He's he's cute. He's a cute Santa. There's another Christmas. If you're looking for Christmas movies for your family, you know. Tim Allen has the Santa Claus movies. Well, he has a new series, Santa Clauses. Is that what it's called? And it's a show. Like, it's several episodes, and it's cute. I mean, you know, it's Christmassy. Okay, so Mossy Meadow for the tree. And then he also looks like he has a nightgown on under his, <laughs> under his jacket. I don't know what this Santa's wearing. It's, it's a little, like, maybe he... He's not wearing his traditional suit. He's an old-fashioned. He's St. Nicholas. He's not Santa. He's St. Nicholas, so it's different. But he looks like he has a little nightgown on under there. I'm not sure. So we're just going to color it. We're going to stay within the color scheme and color it Mossy Meadow. Okay, now for his boots, let's do pecan pie. And I feel like pecan pie is my favorite color. I use it, I think, on every project. It's such a good, good brown. Last night, you guys, we went and saw John Christ. Do you guys know who he is? He is a comedian. And he's a Christian comedian. I, I think that's what you could... I think you could put that label on him. And he is my favorite. He is so funny. And he has a good story, too. He's been to rehab. And um, he um, grew up in a very conservative Christian family and you know he's a comedian which is kind of a wild world I don't know he's a cool guy I like him he makes me laugh he says things that you're thinking in your head but you're scared to say you know 
And basically that's what his show was last night. And we laughed and laughed and laughed. The only problem, we've seen him before and we, we loved it. The only problem was we had great seats, but then this giant man came and sat in front of me, giant man. And so I was having to crane my neck the whole night, which was making me mad. Um, and my husband was sitting on the end because his knee hurt and he, you know, he's a big guy and he can't get folded into those tiny little seats. He has to stretch his legs out in the, um, aisle. He did offer to switch with me, but I felt bad. But I was just irritated the whole time. Like, man, slouch down so I can see you're too big. Go sit on the end. I guess he was actually sitting on the end, but not the right end. So whatever. I know, first world problems, right? Okay, so I'm adding, after I get the color in, I'm just kind of dabbing in some darker color in. So there's like a little shadow underneath the little top part and then around his back where that bag is. What else did I do? Oh, I did his, I didn't know what color to do his mittens, so I just did them brown. Pecan pie, if you will. Pecan pie and pumpkin pie, you guys, are so close. I keep getting them mixed up. His cookie purse, Judy, I love it. Judy, that's exactly what that is, his cookie purse. He collects cookies, puts them in there, saves them for later. I totally love it. Okay, we also need to color this tiny little bear back here. And I'm just barely laying down color because it's very tiny. I'm just kind of dot, dot, dotting it like... Like we do, you know, just dot, dot, dot. All right, did I miss anything else? I think I got it all. Oh, you know what? There's a stem here, and I'm just gonna try to do it in a darker, a darker coating of pumpkin pie right there. Come on, Facebook, please let me see the comments. Mom says it's a man bag. Um, with Jennifer, I bet he gets comments on it. Oh, that's from The Hangover. God, that movie is so funny. Um, all right. Oh, Nathan, it gets cramped. And he was like 6'5". I mean, he was a big guy. Big guy. I don't mean like, you know, just tall, like long. And I'm short. And my husband was like, well, maybe I should feel bad too because I'm tall. I'm like, no, you didn't take as much. I don't know, for whatever reason. It just took up a lot of space. And it, they are cramped. Majestic is a beautiful theater here in town, but it's old, it's oldish, so the seats are small, you know? It's like an older theater. Okay, I put a little bit of Petal Pink on his face. I'm going to do a little bit of Wild Wheat on the drum, like that. And last but not least, we'll add a little bit of basic gray to the bottom of his boots. So somebody commented, I can't remember who it was, somebody commented on my post this morning that they were intimidated by the stamp set. And I have to say, I totally agree. I was totally intimidated too. I put it on the list and I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. that. That set really intimidates me. But you know what, once I started playing with it, I mean, that's easy, that's easy. You guys can totally do that. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable with watercolor, use your Stampin' Blends, because that will work too, totally. All right, while that dries, I told you guys, I think last week, that I'm kind of addicted to this little technique where you put ink on colored cardstock and you make it just more intense, the color. So we're gonna do that again today. I'm loving doing this, I'm doing it a lot. So Misty Moonlight ink and Misty Moonlight cardstock. And we're just gonna go around the edges. We're gonna get a little arm work out. You can mark this down as your arm day. It takes quite a bit of muscle to get this going. Your arm gets sore and tired pretty fast. I'm just gonna go around and around until I've got kind of a darker outer side and the inside is a little more light. Kind of takes your eye to the middle. I think we're doing this on Monday too. <laughs> I told you, when I like something, I do it a lot. All right, now I'm gonna take, which one? Let's take this one. We're gonna take the fatter one. And I'm gonna just take some water and I'm gonna flick it onto my cardstock. We're gonna create kind of some, a snowy background. Okay, and we're just gonna leave that for a sec. And um, 
while we do that, let's let's put together our chimney. Um, let me show you the dies. There are a lot of dies in this set. This is the ch chimney. And then this right here are these two snow pieces. All right, and we can just put some adhesive right across. Of course, I have a new liquid glue, you guys, and it is coming out really fast. So I'm gonna put the snow right there and I'm gonna put, uh oh, hold on. Slide it to the side. And I'm gonna put that right there like that, okay? Now, you can take your paper towel and dab and it's gonna even take away more. It's not gonna be real pronounced. Can you guys see along the sides? Starting to get kind of just almost like snow. Um, I also have, and this, this is, you don't have to do this. One thing I did notice, there's a die in here that looks like this. And I think it's bricks, right? Like you could do bricks. I didn't try it. It is going to cut out the little rectangles, but it also makes the tops for the stockings. At least that's what I used it for. There's four stockings. There's six little bricks on here. So I don't know. So you could run this through like this and then layer it on another piece of um, pecan pie if you wanted. I decided no. <laughs> that's like a lot of work. So I'm just gonna add some color like this to our roof line again. Once I like a technique, I do it on everything. Okay, many, this time I'm using a mini blending brush. All right, now let's put it together. Do I have adhesive? I do. Oh, thanks you guys. Hello, Kimberly. Oh, you guys, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, this is the first card. You guys aren't too late. I just started. First card. Really, you just missed me watercoloring. Come on, what, what's happening? Why won't that take adhesive? There we go. All right, put your roof down here along the bottom. And you know what? I think I might have put that on with dimensionals, but that's okay. We'll just put the roof itself on with dimensional. I mean, the chimney itself with dimensionals. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. Oh, I got a little bit of something. Okay, there it goes. And then we're gonna put this little other snow, if I haven't lost it, it's gonna go right there along the bottom. Okay, and then we've got this banner. I'm giving our little Santa some time to dry, or St. Nicholas, time to dry. All right, and then this is the Nested Essential Dyes, second smallest, I believe. Basic white stitched banner, and we'll put that on with dimensionals up here. All right, let's cut out our St. Nick. I think he's probably dry. Bring over my cut and house machine. Yesterday, I had to design some projects for, um, a training I'm doing with my friend Rhonda and for our teens. It's a demo training and I got to use new celebration product and it is so fun. You know, when you get something brand new that you haven't seen a lot online and it's like fresh and new, you know, I can see that his boot, ah, his boot is still pretty wet. It was so fun. And I can tell you guys, I'm kind of tired of Christmas. I get that way. December gets here. I feel like I've been doing Christmas for months. So I'm ready to, to do other things. The new catalogs are fantastic. Fantastic. Love the Valentine selections this year. I think you guys will too. All right. That's all the die cutting we need to do. Now I see how his foot is kind of up. I found that if you situate him right, it looks like he's walking up and stepping up onto the rooftop like that. Oh, we need to slide him behind though. Hold on. There we go. Just a little bit like that. All right. Now let's put him 
on our card base. Now, just like any other Facebook Friday, all orders from this retroactively past Tuesday until this upcoming Monday at midnight that use this week's host code, you gotta use the host code, unless your order's over $150. But if I see your order and it doesn't have a host code, I just assume you don't want the projects, okay? And if you forget the host code, it's okay. You can just text me or um, email me and let me know and I can add it. Um, anyway, what was I saying? If, you're, or if you put an order in by Monday at midnight, I'm gonna send you a make and take packet, project pack, project packet with these today's three projects using good old St. Nicholas. Now, if you don't have St. Nicholas and you don't plan to order it, that's okay. You can use these materials and whatever stamps that you have. Ah, I rolled my glue dots inside out. Do you guys ever do that? I want the glue dots on the outside. So I unrolled it and then rolled it back up so the glue dots would be on the outside. Um, anyway, you have until Monday at midnight, okay? Even though today's Facebook Friday is a little bit different, there's not a PDF. I am typing up a PDF. It's gonna have all 26 projects. Actually, we're gonna have 26 projects in it. And I will be giving it out for free with anybody who shops with me this month. But it'll be, in, it'll be in my PDF store too. If you want these, I mean, obviously they're on my blog and you can see how measurements and everything are there. But if you wanna keep it for future reference, you'll have a PDF. All right, a few rhinestones and linen thread, and you've got a good old-timey Santa, nope, St. Nicholas project. Uh-oh, wait, I forgot to put my white on the inside. You want to put a little bit of white on the inside of your card. And then you, when you do that, I think this one bit would be cute to stamp the little, um, what is that called? Hello, his sack with the Christmas presents. You could just stamp that right there. Okay, so there's our first project. Dare I say that's my favorite today? Maybe, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. I think it is. All right, let's see. I've got all my, my enamel effects up here in the window. All right, do we need the water again? I don't think we do. I'm gonna move that so we don't have some kind of catastrophe, water catastrophe. And let's look at the second project. Now, last week, last weekend, we went to um, Walgreens and um, I was looking for those um, Russell Stover ornaments. You know, have you guys looked, let me just bring the basket over. Have you guys looked at all the projects that we've done since I started this series? Look, it's a lot, it's a lot. So if you haven't gone back, you need to go back. There's a lot of projects so far. Um, this is the one I'm talking about. I was looking for the Russell Stover um, marshmallow ornaments. Or these are hot cocoa truffle ornaments. Um, so anyways, I found those, of course, at Walgreens. I feel like you can always find those at Walgreens. And by the way, someone sent me an email with some ornament candy, and I can't remember who it was, but I actually found them. But I had already designed my project for those. So Walgreens has several ornament type candies. But anyway, I digress. The reason I'm telling you the story is because I found this at Walgreens, this adorable little crunch. It's actually a circle. I can feel it. I thought it was in the shape of a gingerbread man, but it's not. Um, but it's a circle. And I thought it would go great with our little gingerbread men in here. All right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a little holder for our crunch candy. Let me get all my stuff. And since I don't have a PDF, <laughs> here's what my notes look like. You know, this, this box actually took me several tries to get. That's why you can see all the scribbling and it was wrong. And then I did it again, it was wrong. Did it again, it was wrong. And then I got it right. And then I practiced it again this afternoon. So hopefully I have it down now for you guys. All right, so this is a crisscross ornament. I mean, a uh, project. It slides off like that and then it opens like that. And then you can put like a little circle or something to and from your little note. Um, but I've made this type of box before, never this size, but uh, I wanted to have a little crisscross um, box. Okay, so 10 by seven and a half. This is copper clay because the DSP that we're using is copper clay. 
On the long side, we're gonna do three, three and a half, six and a half, and seven. And then on the short side, we're gonna do four and four and a half. Now I created a sample for myself so that I would remember how to cut it. This is basically how we're going to cut it, all right? So it goes like this. So the first thing, first things first, let's burnish these lines. Get your bone folder, burnish all of these lines. Make them nice and crisp. Um, Walgreens has a great selection of candy. So does uh, Target. Target's got a lot of like little fun individual candy. But Walgreens had some things. They had um, an aisle that had like gifts, kind of like cheap gifts. And they had one that said snore stopper. And it was um, a hand, it had a handle and a button. And then it had a fist, a foam fist on it that you could push the button and it would punch the person who was snoring. It made me laugh, and I showed my husband, and he did not think it was very funny. He used to be a snore. He's lost 67 pounds in the last year, so he doesn't snore anymore. But if this was last year, I would have bought it for him. <laughs> oh. Okay, so now let's cut. We've got these two score lines on each side, and this one, these, this little section we want to keep. All right, so let me just look and make sure. I don't want to mess it up. All right, so we're going to cut across like that and then let's cut off this section right here if you're looking for gag gifts i don't think it was meant to be well maybe it was meant to be a gag gift but they have some cute little like five ten dollar gifts there at walgreens that would be good for um you know like a white elephant something like that all right you don't have a Target's or a Walgreens, Becky. And you know, um, I couldn't find these little crunch things online. I didn't look, well, I just looked on Amazon to be truthful. Um, but I bet Walgreens.com and Target.com too, if you're willing, you know, to wait. And usually they've got free shipping. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Now we're gonna cut those sides off at an angle. And you're gonna line up this top corner and this bottom corner and we're gonna slice it off. Our neighbor that's right over here brought us um, this tin of, it said European cookies or something and it was kind of more like candies. I don't know, it was so good. Hold on, am I doing this right? Yes, from top to bottom. Oh God, it scared me, I thought I did it wrong. All right, so that's what your paper looks like. I wish I knew where they got it because they're delicious and it made it a really nice neighbor gift too. All right, this is what your piece looks like. Now, I have already done a bunch of stuff ahead of time just so that we're not here forever. Um, you're gonna need to cut, and when I think I left this off the measurement. Hold on, let me get these out of the basket. Um, you're gonna need to cut, and I'll go back and add these, two different rectangles and you have to cut two because when you cut it this one looks like this and they're both the same so you have to cut one of them from the left and one of them from the right so these are the other halves of those so once you do one set you have enough for two does that make sense they sometimes if your paper is the same it'll work out but oh these are actually too long anyway we have to trim these off. Um, but because the paper is different, I don't know, I, it didn't work out. So I had to do two different, two different rectangles. I'll go back and add these measurements in. I can tell you right now what it is. The, the rectangle that we cut in half originally is three and three fourths by three. So you, your DSP needs to be two and three fourths by three and a half. And then you cut it diagonally. I'll add that in. Make sure it's right. Because that's a pretty important measurement that you need. All right, so we've added DSP there. We're also gonna add our DSP, the little gingerbread and candy cane 
DSP right here. All right, so now we're gonna fold this up and put, we're gonna put adhesive on these, these tabs like this. And I'm gonna take the little tab and fold it in, right, whoops, let's get it even, right there. This one's gonna fold in right there. Okay, so you've made this little half box. And then we're gonna fold that up and these sides right here are gonna press in to those sides. And I'm gonna need my, let's see, I don't have my, I use stamp and seal here, I might. It's very humid here today, so I probably should use liquid glue. It's like, ugh, yuck, very yucky. It's supposed to get cold here. I think there's a big cold front going across, right? The United States. Yes, Randy, Walmart has Little Debbie ice cream. We Walmart has had Little Debbie ice cream for a while. We've been buying that for a while. My kids love the oatmeal pie and the Nutter, Nutty Buddy ice cream. They love it. All right, so now that's what it looks like. You fold these over and it just kind of hugs, All right, And this goes in like that. Now the blue doesn't, you know, I usually like to make it match, but I was like, you know what? Who cares? It's blue, it's going in, it's candy. I don't care. <laughs> Maybe I should have done blue paper, but I really wanted to use this St. Nicholas paper because I love it so much. All right, fold, this is a little belly band. I probably forgot this measurement on there too. I need to go back and add some measurements. And you're gonna adhere it to itself like that. Okay, and get it all squared up and then that will slide up and down. All right, all right, now check out these dies. This is a little sneak peek from the spring catalog. Um, perennial postage, I believe is what they're called. And I've used this one right here. It's like a little postage stamp. And we're gonna stamp, um, oh, did I lose one of my little, I think I lost one of my little thingamajigs. We're gonna stamp this image twice. And we're gonna only color in one of the glasses. Mom, this looks like the glasses that you gave me, the shape. She gave me some red china to go in my new china cabinet. All right, um, candy cane. Now, it's very, very small. So all I'm gonna do is dot. Just, I'm gonna dot some red on here and try my best to get in those lines. I mean, I don't know how you can get it perfect. And if you get out your stamp and write markers, it has a little bit more of a fine point that might do better there, but it's just very small. So just dot, 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 it'll be enough. All right, pecan pie, uh oh, that's not the, that is not the end I wanted. Um, let's color in our little gingerbread men. Did you guys know that Target opens early? I went for a haircut today and the traffic is really bad where we live. There's major construction between here and there. So I left, I gave myself half an hour. It only took me 11 minutes to get there. <laughs> I was like, what is even happening? So I had to go to Target. Oh, I'm doing this the wrong color. Good thing there's two. Um, so I had to go to Target, you guys, of course. Got some candy and some Diet Cokes. And they open early. I walked up and it said, opens at eight. And I was like, no but they were open early for the holidays. And there was nobody in there. I did see my daughter's ex-boyfriend in there. We did not make eye contact, but I think he and I were the only ones in the store. He works there, so that's okay. I was expecting to see him. All right, so there we go. We got those colors. Let's bring over again the cut and emboss machine. Now I have done the sentiment ahead of time. I um, Stamped it, ooh, stamped it in Versamark, embossed it in basic white. And it's on a real red, stylish shape, stitched banner. And, um, ooh, ginger man, gingerbread man flying away. Let's make sure we get all these little pieces because they are small. Okay. 
The next project, I've done a lot of it ahead. It's just a fun fold that features really showcases the DSP and also the cute fireplace. I had to, I had to make a project with a fireplace. That's why I ended up doing a third project. Cause I was like, how can I not use this fireplace? It's the cutest part. So cute. Okay, let's put this together. I'm gonna put this on here with dimensionals. I think I have lost some of my greenery. So it's not gonna be exactly the same. Um, this little guy right here, there's a couple of them in here that you can cut out to, you know, put around your, um, your little holiday decorations. And we're gonna use many dimensionals if I have them. Oh, I do. What is in a red 10? Red 10. Um, Joyce, I don't know what you're asking about. Oh, the cookies that I was talking about that my neighbor brought over. Is that what you're asking? He brought a red tent of, it said European cookies, but they were really more like chocolates. And they were so good. My husband, I think ate like 10. I'm like, slow down there. Hello, save some for the rest of us. I don't know where they got them. And someone says, what, World Market? Maybe, that's a good idea. They may have them. World Market has a lot of different cookies and candies. Joan says, I love World Market and I never go there. It's in a very, very busy area. <laughs> Jennifer, cold in San Antonio. Yes, that is cold for us. 60s. No, actually, what I don't like is the wind when it's cold and windy. So like in the 50s and windy, forget it. I'm not going anywhere. Um, but once or twice a year, we get, you know, highs in the 30s. You know, have you heard of our snowmageddon? When we had snowmageddon several, it was 2020. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was 2020. When it snowed and got so cold here in Texas that the grid basically didn't work. And we all lived in the dark and with no water, no electricity for four or five days. And it was like in the thirties for four or five days. So every now and then, yes. And we don't know how to deal with that kind of weather. We don't have equipment. We don't have snow plows we don't have <laughs> really it's the ice that's the problem we don't have um you know snow shovel they don't even sell snow shovels here so we don't know how to deal with that kind of stuff but no that's not what's happening this weekend i think the high is like 59 tomorrow which is i mean nathan you're here still right that's pretty cold for us and it's windy i don't like the wind Ugh. when that wind blows and now that I have to walk outside to my office, I'm like, ugh, the wind whips through. The wind turbines didn't work, Jennifer. Was that what it was? I can't remember the wind. Um, they froze the wind turbine, but, that, but wasn't it the grid too? Because now every year they're like, oh, we don't know if the grid's gonna hold. This year, Texas may have a meltdown again. Who knows? We have a generator in our new home and I feel like, the luckiest person alive <laughs> that year I was like we're never living without a generator again oh it was awful okay stick your um little cuteness to the belly band and there is your project I mean this one's kind of a lot of work but you know we like to do stamping don't we we like to make cute things and there you go it's cute my mailman will get this next week I've been giving him all kinds of projects and the UPS guy. I left him some things too this week. I forget about my UPS guy. All right. So there you go. Project number two is your 3D. Um, you could also, I think, put a hot cocoa packet in it. If you wanted it to be taller, you would just, instead of um, seven and a half inches, I think you would just make it eight and a half inches. Maybe it'd be a little bit taller. And uh, you, know, you could fit maybe a little taller packet of hot chocolate. Okay, there's that. Let's get to the last one. And uh, I thought I was gonna be fast today, but I'm not. All right, let's get to the last one. And the last one's pretty easy. It's just pretty much assembling because I have everything already ready. This is that paper that I just can't say enough about. It's so cute. And it's just a simple, fun fold like that. If you wanna put a gift card here, you could, or even up here, and then write your message here. 
Um, but look at the fireplace with the little stockings. Come on now, how cute. So I wanna show you these dies because at first glance you might think, um, I don't know what all those are. And so you kind of have to play around with it or have somebody like me tell you what they are. Um, the first thing I'm gonna start with is a radiating stitches die basic white. And I have cut out the chimney, remember we did the chimney, in crumb cake. And we're gonna put that up here towards the top. Let's get some dimensionals because we're gonna put the sentiment across the bottom. Let me get all my dimensionals ready to go. All right, so then this one's gonna go like this. I'm just gonna kind of piece it together and then stick them down towards the top because you wanna leave room for that um, banner that you're gonna put across. All right, so it looks like the chimney until you add this piece, which is this one right here, and then it becomes a fireplace. All right, so this one is an early espresso. Now, I'm gonna ask a question, and it may be a dumb question. Uh oh, well, I'm putting it upside down. I'm gonna put that so that's like the, the hearth. The only thing I couldn't figure out, when you cut this out right here, you guys, you get this piece, which fits in right here perfectly. But then there's this other one right here. So what do you think that one is for? Maybe to add in? Well, it's the same. I mean, it's a tiny bit smaller. It's not even that small. It is tiny bit smaller. What do you think that that piece, I mean, it fits in there, but why do you need it if that's already gonna cut that out for you? Does anybody know? Maybe it's just so in case you only, you wanna cut them different colors, you could just cut a smaller one maybe. I don't know. All right, the stockings, did I lose my stockings? Look how cute these are. This is my favorite part, the little stockings. Now, here's the stocking row right here. And then the die that I told you, the bricks, that I think are bricks are actually the, the tops of the um, stockings. I mean, I think that's what they're for. A screen for the fireplace, Randy. So maybe you add it on top of that in a different color, maybe. That's a, that's a good idea. All right, so hang your stockings with care. Now, wait a minute, I have little logs somewhere too. Okay, yeah, here are the logs. I'm gonna need to get my um, Take your pick tool to pick these up. When you get these tiny little pieces, you take your pick, uh-oh, sorry, I was moving way down. I need to move up. Um, you can add in the log. Um, this one right here is the, the logs. I don't know if you need all three of the logs, but since they cut out the same time, might as well use them. And then we've got the fire. All right, so fire could probably be several colors, but I did pumpkin pie, okay, and daffodil delight, and I'm not sure, I think it goes on like that. Isn't that cute? I mean, come on, a miniature little fire scene. Let me hold it up for you guys so you can see. How stinking cute. If you have your glue, you know, adhesive sheet would be good for this too. The fireplace itself kind of you can kind of see through those pieces so maybe not those but all those little pieces would be cute I mean it would be easy with the uh, adhesive sheets here's the other little green piece I was needing for my other project all right now I have stamped the sentiment in Versamark on real red I cut it out with a stylus shape banner big one in real red embossed it in white embossing powder. All right, and then we're just gonna put this together. This is um, a card base that I've cut off the front part of it, right, and turned it upside down. And then we'll take that beautiful paint, painted, looks like it's hand painted, St. Nicholas paper. Um, and then I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. Cut out the DSP for the fireplace screen. The D oh, that would be pretty. Who said that? Lori, that's a great idea. She says, cut out the DSP for the fireplace screen. 
Um, Lori, she also said this is one of the first things that I purchased and haven't played with it yet. I think it's, I think it's intimidating. Like somebody said earlier, it, it is an intimidating set. But now that I've used it three times, I think I, I think differently. I don't think it's intimidating. I think once you play with it, you're like, okay, I get it. I see. And uh, coloring it, if you make, like I did in the first project, if you make the image nice and dark, you can see what you're doing, you know, and it makes it a little bit um, easier to color. All right, so this little card here in the front, this little flip-up card is just three by four. And I'm going to put a piece of basic white inside so you can write your little message. Uh-oh, it's too, too long. Let's trim it. There we go. And then I'm going to put adhesive on the back. And we're going to center that. I hate covering up Santa. Sorry, Santa. You're being covered up. He, I need to cut it. See this one, how I cut it? And you can see I'm peeking over. And he's peeking over too. So maybe you can cut your paper differently. All right, so then that folds in there. And that folds over. And then we'll put our little um, scene, our fireplace scene right here in the middle. Well, I have three dimensionals on my finger. I might as well use all of them. And right there. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna take this ribbon. This is the, ooh, that's like the perfect size. Real red and burlap, I think is what it's called, ribbon combo pack. And I'm just gonna tie kind of a big loose bow like that. And get a mini glue dot and tuck it in behind that corner right there. Okay? And ta-da, you're done. I always feel like I'm playing with paper dolls or dollhouse or something when I have these little dies that make these cute little scenes. I just love them. They are some of my favorite things to do. So I'm glad that I bought this, even though I thought, mm, I don't know. I'm glad I bought it because I really like it. And I think that I could use that for a long time, those, those dies especially. The only die I really didn't use, other than the ones to cut out the images that we didn't stamp, um, is this one right here. And I think it's just going to cut a pattern in your paper. It's really pretty. Okay, that is it for day eight, right? Today's day eight. I think I wrote day nine. Today is day eight. And here are your three projects. If you want to put in an order between now and Monday, you can order anything you want. I don't really care what you order. As long as it's that $35 minimum, then I will send you this, these three projects and a make and take kit for free. You'll need the stamps and dies. I don't send any stamped images. Um, I didn't even show you guys what they look like this time. They come, they look like this. All right, you'll have the things that you need. Here's that little, here's that paper right there that we used for the Harry Potter Christmas chocolate slider. Um, and I send you a thank you tag. But other than that, you'll need, I'm not cutting all these out for you guys, sorry. You'll need those dies to do that. Um, but the dies are fabulous. Even if you didn't want the stamp set, I would think that the dies would be something you could use without the stamp set. All right, you guys, next week, I'll be live on Thursday. Thursday's the last day of our 12 days, okay? So Thursday, I will see you at two o'clock. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do on Thursday. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. So stay tuned. And it's probably only going to be two projects on Thursday. All right. My creative uh, juices are very low right now because I have been making so many projects. I think I need to recharge over the break. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe and I will see you next week on Thursday, two o'clock. Bye, everybody.